morning. Good morning. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Right, so anyway, um, what we're going to talk about today is... Why you need a business mentor or coach. True. Why do we need a business mentor or coach? And there's there's lots of answers we can give you to that one, really. Lots of reasons. Lo lo lots of reasons why you need one. But I think that what we what we do throughout our life is take advice, take leadership. All our life, you know, from being like being young, we have as parents, we have our parents. We have our parents. It's a Yorkshire thing. We have our parents. We've got teachers. We've got authority figures. We have all these people leading us all the way through into our uh, teenage years. Mm -hmm. And then the minute we leave school and education or we leave home, that stops. On your own two feet. Stand you're, on you're, your own two you've got to stand on your own two feet. Um, now, some of us might have bossy partners who guide us. Some of us. I'm not looking at you, by the way, when I say I know, that. you were purposefully not looking at me when well, you not. Well, you're, 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 you're not boss, eh? You're not boss, eh? What? <laughs> um, so some of us do have bossy partners. And I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. You know, they're, they're just driven. Some people need it. Some people need it. We all need it. Some people need keeping in line. They even, yeah. And, and especially when we're working for ourselves, you know, working for ourselves, we, we don't have that leadership no more. We don't have that boss. And maybe maybe you've got a boss and they're just they're just not people management materials. You know, they might have some fantastic processes but they don't know how to relate to people. They can't manage people really well. They might but they might have a lot of knowledge. So there's a lot of situations where a life coach, a business coach, a mentor can really come and help you as a person move forward. And I just think that for most part we don't we don't even see this, we don't recognise this. Because it's not something that we're used to. We, we, you know, we, we've come out of that nurturing process, and now we're standing on his own, on our own two feet. Shut up. We're now standing on our own two feet. It's the conditioning thing again, isn't it? You, sure. You know, you, your mum and dad nurture you and allow you to grow and help you and support you, and then they say, "Oh, now it's time for you to stand on your own two feet," and you're like. Is it? So it's practically telling you, don't ask anyone for any help. True, true, very true. I'm sure they don't mean it that way, yeah, but yeah. that's how that's how it's taken, isn't it? We've served our biological purpose in life now. Be gone. Be gone. <laughs> but come back and look after us when we're when old. we're old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah where it pushes around and stuff in, in a wheelchair. Um, Please don't put us in a grotty care home. Make sure it's a nice one. <laughs> Make sure it's a nice one <laughs> that, that skins you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but this is this is this is this is the thing. You know, it's so important to continue your development, your personal development. You know, we are made to grow. That's natural to us. The, the natural instinct for us is we want to grow, we need to grow. But we've got to understand that you're not going to be able to do that necessarily on your own. You do need help, you do need support, you do need people around you. Um, and you need a mentor and a, and a coach in your life. You need people that's going to, going to advise you and push you and get the best from you all the way through your life. Do you know, the, the, the most successful people in the world have coaches. They have people that work with them. You know, you look at people like Mark Zuckerberg. Do you know what I mean? He was the he was the world's youngest billionaire. He didn't, he didn't do that by himself. Yeah, the ideas and concepts were his, but he used advisors and coaches to help him get the best from him. Do you know, he could have. He, he could have. There's no doubt. He, he, he could have done a fantastic thing and he built a fantastic company but it gets to a stage where you need people to help you unlock other parts of you do you know every even, person um, even big businesses now are seeing the value of coaches rather than relying on bad people managers to coach and develop staff they're investing in putting their managers through training, through training yeah. with coaches yeah. or they're bringing coaches in from outside to, to work with the team yeah absolutely and so, so you're no different if you're a one-man band you're no different than a big multi-millionaire company because you need it as well totally totally and 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 you need it for your life you need you know we we have coaches 
all around us at all times. You know, I, I use I, I use mentors and coaches for for food. You know, we we getting married this year. We want to be in the best shape of his life, and that's not necessarily an excuse to stay fit, but it's something that obviously is a big motivation for us. It's a big motivational drive. Um, so we we have we have business mentors, or well not business mentors, sorry, food mentors that that advise us on what kind of food we should be eating. Joe, you, know, you shouldn't. You it's should, not crisps. It's not. Yeah, What's that all about? All McDonald's, which is oh, yeah, just wow. bizarre. <laughs> Do you know what? We're not big McDonald's eaters, are we? Do you know, it's occasional yeah, thing. Yeah, hangover is, is fantastic. McDonald's breakfast. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's McDonald's uh, yeah, really McDonald's. <laughs> um, but, do you know, have these people around you. You know, we have people that advise us on how to do proper tech. You know, we have, have mentors that work with you on your time. And, do you know, there's all these areas <laughs> of life. You don't necessarily just to have one. Just to have, just, sorry, just have to have one. And, and, and what I say to everybody, you know, if you find a mentor that that you really, really resonate with, now a mentor doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you actually speak with directly, it could be just somebody that you've seen on YouTube, it could be watching videos like this, it could be books that you've read, but if you find somebody that resonates with you, study all their materials, you know, really just get kind of obsessed with the things that they do because you like it and it works for you. Now that could be motivation, it could be strategies, it could be processes. No matter what it is, you know, just completely just submerge yourself into the content that these guys put out or I say guys, guys being women as well, I'm not just being sexist. It's just a It's just a saying guys, yeah, I just thought I'd put that in for clarity. Um, <laughs> but just do that, you know, really get obsessed with the stuff that they talk about. Like Uncle Stephen. Like Uncle Stephen, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to explain what that means? Stephen Covey. Stephen Covey, yeah. Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Unfortunately, he's, he's one of my mentors. Yeah. Well, he was. Yeah. And and uh, he's not related. So same surname. Just, Might be. You don't know. Well, I'm sure we're all related, aren't we? It's somewhere along the lines, but there's there's no direct. <laughs> Relation there that we, uh, we, we well, I'm aware of, apart from the fact that we've got the same um, wicked hairstyle. Same hairdresser. Same hairdresser. Hey, Serena. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so mentors are massively important. You definitely need to get them in your life. You definitely need to have them in your business. You definitely need to help them to push you forward. And and this happens lots of different ways. You know, you can have them what's going to motivate you. You can have ones that's going to going to going to challenge you. The ones that you're accountable for. Do you know, the people I work with, the clients I have, hire me for many different reasons. Some is because they they need that that accountability. Others, motivation. You know, I've got a client I work with. Um, and, and they've already got an, an existing client, well, sorry, an existing coach that, that, that manages them and helps them and pushes them and stuff. But they work very much on processes. Whereas what I do with this particular client is just pure motivation. And, and as a result, the motivation's just absolutely skyrocketed his business to a massive level. He's, he's, he's making more each month than he would have doing six months. It, it just changes things. So we need to have these people around us. And if you want to use me, I'd love you to use me. I don't have many places left because time's precious. Um, but head over to my website, go to johncorby.com. Um, check out some of the stuff that I do here. I can work with sales, I can work with motivation, I can work with leadership, I can work with change, I can work with all these different areas and mindset and everything else as well. Guarantee that you're gonna see a change. You're gonna see a change. Boop, 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 boop. You end up happy as well. It's all right, you won't sing for you. If you want me to sing, hey, listen, if you want to pay me to come and sing for you, Oof. I will happily come and sing. I'm not going to say it's going to be any good. <laughs> Definitely not going to be any good, but um, you'll you'll find benefit in it and it'll make you smile. Final thought? Final thought is um, embrace not standing on your own two feet. Ask for help. Reach out to people. Reach out to people. Good. Um, Final thought? Final thought is... Find somebody that resonates with you. You know, find some stuff that you like. Find it what, what's, what you enjoy. Study it and then apply it. Have a great day. Have a fantastic day.